This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Trish is going to return for a short feud with Melina before we finally meet Mickey James. Who came up with this idea of the, the whole Trish and Mickey saga? Um, I don't really remember. I remember I pitched it to Mickey initially, um, but I don't remember who came up with it specifically. It was, you know, by that time, the creative team had grown a little bit and there was a lot of pitching around tables and things like that. But, uh, I thought that it was a hell of an idea and one that was logical. It was, it was kind of off of the, oh shit. Um, roommates. Was that the name of the movie? Single white female. That's interesting. Off of that. Yeah. That that's the creative, um, they go just to recap, they go from uh, friends with overtones of a possible relationship to Mickey, eventually making a move on Trish the day after Christmas, December 26th on raw. And it's a kiss under the mistletoe. Uh, this is, um, pretty risque in this era. Yeah, it was, but it was, again, it was looking at, you know, real life and, and, and this stuff happens in real life all the time. Trish is going to ask for space. Mickey's going to give it to her, but of course she's really offended. So she's going to attack her. And now we've got to build a WrestleMania and Mickey's going to end Trish's pretty historic 448 day reign to become the new women's champion. And boy, there's a controversial moment in the match that if you know, you know, I think it's been scrubbed from, uh, all the replays and the network, but I just imagine that Mickey got a talking to when she came through the curtain after that WrestleMania match. Yeah. Pretty crass and just totally inappropriate. It is one of the better women's title matches up to that point though. As far it as was, the, it was excellent. I thought Mickey's excellent. And, and I, it, I just feel like, don't get me wrong. I get that she was doing character work and she was in the mode. And I think you and I are both big fans of Mickey James as a wrestler, as a person, et cetera, et cetera. I've been fortunate enough to meet her a few times and she's great. But in that moment, she's working the character and doing her thing. But I feel like that moment sort of overshadowed the rest of the match and people don't talk about how good the match was now as a result, right? Yeah. Because unfortunately people remember the one shock and off actor yeah. more so than the actual match. Point. Yes, exactly. And you know, it's regrettable. I'm sure in hindsight, nobody would have done it, but, uh, I mean, you were looking for attention. You got it. not you, but Mickey was, but I just think, man, go watch the match without it. It did. I mean, it's a great match and, um, yeah. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.